In this second lecture, we're going to talk about uh, the moment of conception and go from conception to birth. So uh, we've already discussed a lot about how uh, the sperm and the ovum uh, turn into one cell, uh, but let's talk about uh, the whole period, uh, the development that changes uh, a fertilized egg into a newborn human. So we're going to start off by, of course, uh, no surprise, the male during intercourse uh, is going to put seminal fluid into the female vagina. And that usually is about a teaspoon of that. And out of this mere teaspoon, there can be about 200 to 500 million sperm. Yes, I did say that, 200 to 500 million sperm. And out of this, only a few hundred will actually complete the six to seven inch trek. It's like trying to get to the Holy Grail, to the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tube is where that uh, the conception will occur in the fallopian tube. So here in the fallopian tube, the egg, which arrives monthly, hours after it's released by the ovary, if the egg is present, okay, if that once a month, many sperm will try to get in. When one actually burrows in and penetrates the cellular wall, chemical changes in the wall occur immediately and this blocks out any other sperm okay it will block it out it like makes a hard crust on the outside so in the nuclea of the egg and sperm they will fuse okay the nuclei of the egg and sperm will fuse and these two independent sets of 23 chromosomes pair up to make that 46 and so it begins from that point this fertilization begins that period of the zygote we had talked about that before which is the technical term for the fertilized egg so from the moment the sperm and the egg unite and become one new cell in the fallopian tubes and then they make their way from the fallopian tube down to the uterine wall that period of time which could be about 10 days to two weeks is called the period period of the zygote okay all right this period will end when the zygote which is the fertilized egg implants itself into the wall of the uterus okay and that is called implantation during this time through this two-week period the zygote grows rapidly through cell division one goes into two two into four four into eight etc etc and occasionally the zygote the initial cells are called stem cells okay sometimes that zygote will divide it will divide into two clusters and when that happens one egg dividing into two that is when we have identical twins okay now sometimes let me just say we're talking about one egg being released by the ovaries sometimes more than one egg will be released sometimes it could be two sometimes it could be three of course multiple births these days are related uh, to in vitro fertilization very often uh, but when that happens each egg will be you know in, inseminated by the uh, sperm and you will have fraternal twins fraternal twins so it's a separate egg separate sperm and fraternal twins unlike identical twins 
where it's one egg that splits and they share the same identical genetic material. Fraternal twins is basically siblings who are in the womb at the same time. So fraternal twins, it could be of the same sex or it could be of different sexes. So, um, so that's what we have. So uh, do understand that. You will be quizzed on that um, for sure. So back to our zygote. After about four days, the zygote includes about 100 cells and looks like a hollow ball, okay? And those cells all do different things. Uh, the inner part is where the baby will grow. And when that zygote implants itself into the uterine wall, it now becomes another stage, and this is the embryonic stage. We are now calling that fertilized egg an embryo, okay? Um, the outer, the the inner part is where the baby will grow. The outer layers of cells will become the placenta, the organ that protects the ba baby. At the end of the week, that zygote reaches that uterine wall and the zygote burrows itself into the wall and implants itself. 60% of these zygotes will not, let, re re let me repeat, will not stay as an embryo, okay? Uh, if you remember from the last lecture, I talked about how uh, more male sperm make it to zygote stage, but in those first two weeks, uh, a lot of the, uh, the zygotes won't make it to implantation. They won't make it to that embryo stage. There is figures 55 to 60 percent of all zygotes do not implant into the uterine wall. Okay, so that that's really important for you to remember. So we have the embryo stage, which is now week three to eight, and it's important for you to remember that this is the most critical stage of fetal development, the embryo stage, because this is where the baby's systems and functions are being developed and it is, you know, structural, internal organs. Um, it's very, very important at this stage. So it is the most uh, critical. So at the beginning of that embryo stage, you have three layers which begin to form in the embryo. And they are layer one, which is the outer layer, and that is the ectoderm. And that becomes the hair, the outer layer of skin, and the nervous system, your neurons. Okay, the second one is the middle layer or mesoderm and that forms muscles, bones, and the circulatory system. And the third layer is the inner layer, or endoderm, and that forms the digestive system and the lungs. During this stage, this embryo stage, you're now starting to see eyes, jaws, arms, and legs. And the brain and the nervous system are developing quickly, and the heart has been beating for a month. The embryo has passed a major milestone at this point. The umbilical cord is in place and the baby is in its amniotic fluid sac. All right, and now the last stage comes along and this is the fetus and this is nine through 38 weeks. So we are now calling the baby a fetus, all right? And the time now is where the structures and organs start working properly. About the ninth week, also the sex organs appear. This occurs in the final and longest stage, this fetus, the nine to 38 weeks. Um, the cartilage is beginning to form, 
turn to bone. The baby grows at an amazing rate. At nine weeks, the baby weighs about four to eight ounces. In the last five months, the baby will gain an additional seven or eight pounds. The fetal period is when the finishing touches are put into place. This is a time of refinement, maturation, growth of the organ systems, and of the baby forming into that of the developing individual. During this time, by 22 to 28 weeks, most systems function. So, because of this, if there is the necessary, it may be necessary to for the baby to be born or the baby may be premature, um, there is a chance of survival at this point, 22 to 28 weeks. And this is called the age of viability. Okay, that's important for you to remember. The cerebral cortex is growing at a fast rate. That's your wrinkled mass of your brain, if you remember from intro. The baby starts to behave in the womb. The baby might start doing flips and turning around. It's, uh, it's showing its personality at this point. It's uh, very, uh, it's cool, it's cool for sure. And um, so this is a critical time. And then of course the baby will be born um, and we will continue this lecture by talking about what happens when the baby is born. There are certain steps that need to be taken care of when the baby is born. So I will see you next time.